Sebastian Unchained here, here to help you build a love life that you love. So you can have sex and relationships and all that jazz from a place of being yourself. Um, although I do, I do advocate self-improvement. So being yourself um, means something slightly different when I say it. But from a place of authenticity and not trying to perform for them, that's what I mean by being yourself. You don't have to perform for girls. Um, today I'm going to talk about why even Brad Pitt gets rejected by most girls that he gets with, that he asks out. First of all, Brad Pitt's probably not asking a ton of girls out. Um, I think he's in a relationship right now. But if he did go out and ask a bunch of girls out on a date, he would get a much higher proportion of the girls saying yes than you or me. Mostly because he's really well known, he's very charismatic, he's very good looking, and he, um, him being famous and wealthy and really well known is pretty freaking huge. He, po he might get most girls to say yes, but a lot of girls would still reject him. Why is that? Well, first of all, we don't really know. <laughs> um, when you don't really know why a particular girl rejects you, and neither would Brad Pitt if he went out and hit on a bunch of girls. When somebody rejects you, you can you might have a good guess about why, but you never know. And a lot of the times you have no good guesses. It could be because they already have a boyfriend, or maybe they're not even into guys, or maybe they are feeling insecure in that time of life because maybe a guy rejected them earlier, or maybe they had a bad breakup last week, or maybe um, they're just feeling a little under the weather and they don't really care about having sex or meeting a new guy right now. Or maybe they have too much homework or work on their plate and they don't have anything, they don't have enough time or focus in their life or energy to devote to a new guy. There are a multitude of reasons why a particular girl is not saying yes to you at a certain moment. She could not be saying yes for so many reasons. And most of those reasons are not, this guy is not attractive. Sometimes that's it. Sometimes she's not attracted to you. Sometimes it's because you're not attractive. Maybe you're overweight. Maybe you don't do your hair well. I still need a haircut. Maybe you don't do your hair well. Maybe you don't, uh, you know, groom your beard well. Maybe you smell bad. But maybe it's because she's not even attracted to your type. Maybe she's more into guys with more tattoos. I have one tattoo right here you can't see most of the time. Maybe she likes more um, risque boys. Maybe she's more into emo boys. Maybe, you know, you have no idea. It could be she's unattractive to you because you're unattractive or because, you, um, or because you're not her type. Um, you know, in, in the case of Brad Pitt, maybe she likes Maybe it's intim too intimidating for her to pull the trigger because he's so famous and she doesn't want everyone to know about it. That could be it. Maybe she is super committed to her dude and while she would be excited to be with Brad Pitt and she's super attracted to Brad Pitt, um, that commitment is super important to her and she's sticking to that. That's a possibility too. So Brad Pitt would, would get rejected even though there's very, very, very few girls who wouldn't be attracted to him but there still would be some girls who wouldn't be attracted to him because they're, uh, they like other types of guys. Maybe they like more, um, more like runner type guys. Maybe they like more, like less performing type guys that are more um, quiet. Maybe they like the more quiet, mysterious type instead of the performing type. Maybe they like the super extravagant type because Brad Pitt's kind of like a stoic. He doesn't, he's not super loud. Maybe they like more of a performer kind of guy. You don't really know. And for you, it's, it could be so many reasons. So one of the things that I suggest, when I say just be yourself, I mean don't perform. But I do want you to improve yourself. Heck, I go to the gym four times a week. I run every single day. And um, while I still need to get a haircut, uh, I do look after my fashion. As you can see, it's important to me to have good fashion, have good grooming, and um, to improve myself in a lot of other ways as well. Better sleep, better emotional habits, etc. This is important to me and to you because what's going to happen is maybe 20% of the girls that you talk to want to go on a date. That's actually pretty high. Um, usually it'd be probably less, but like I say, 20%, right? 
some of those girls that say no, say 10% of the girls say no because they're not attracted to you, right? And then the other 70, so it's 70%, 80% say no, 10% are not attracted to you, 70% they have a boyfriend and are committed to him or they're in a really bad place in their life where they're too busy or their grandma just died and they just don't have any room for any emotional connection, even if it's casual. Um, or maybe they're into girls and not into guys at all. So there's like so many reasons, right? 70% you can't do anything about. That 10% though, and I'm making up these numbers, that 10% though, if you improve yourself, that 10% would say yes, right? So there's a certain amount of girls who say no to you right now that if you improved yourself, they would say yes. You will never get 100% of girls to accept your offer. Usually it will be much less than half. Usually the majority of girls, no matter what, are going to say no to you, even the most attractive guys might get close to 50% or slightly over. And I mean like Leonardo DiCaprio, like Idris Elba, like, I mean, they're kind of old now, but like, you know what I mean? Like Channing Tatum, um, just the people uh, who, who you think of as like, that, that guy's a stud, he's super famous, he's, he's super athletic, he's super chari charismatic, um, he gets all the girls, he's, he's rich. That guy will get maybe over 50% of the girls he randomly approaches to, uh, to like him and, and go on a date with him, but it will not be 100%, it will never be 100%. And unless you are top tier like that, you won't even get 50%. But that's okay because talking to girls, swiping on Tinder, et cetera, is kind of like a free scratch ticket. Now, scratch tickets aren't a good deal because you pay for them and you pay less than you get over time. If you buy 100 scratch tickets, you're going to lose money. Maybe you'll get lucky, but that's just it. You're getting lucky. It's designed so they make money, which means you spend more than you earn. But if those scratch tickets are free, Get as many as you want, just take them out, take them out, take them. Every time you hit on a girl, it's like you have a free scratch ticket. There's maybe a 10%, 20% chance that she'll go on a date with you, but that's free. You don't pay anything except for a little bit of nervousness. That's all you pay when you swipe on Tinder. When you buy a boost, yes, eight bucks, sure. There is some cost to it, but you're going to get dates. You're going to get success because it's like getting a bunch of free scratch tickets. Free scratch tickets. Now that's an analogy that my, uh, my mentor helped me out with. I really like his stuff, so I want to give him credit. Andy from Killier and a Loser, shout out to him. Some great uh, content there. Um, but yeah, so improve yourself. More girls will say yes, but understand that it's never going to be the majority unless you are extremely famous. So wishing you the best. I hope this helped you out. I hope this helped you in your journey. Um, next time, which is going to be, I think I'm going to put it on the same day. I'm going to talk about exactly why um, it's important to take action and not think about it too much. And yes, I did do some theory and like mental masturbation in this episode, but hopefully it helps you towards taking action. This is not just so you can think about it more. This is so you can take action, get out there and get the sex life you deserve. So I wish you the best. Excited to talk to you guys more. Subscribe if you want more videos like these to help you build the sex life you love. Um, and I'm also going to, um, I also offer coaching. And if you're here in Austin, I do uh, dating profile photography. I'm actually, I actually have a client this evening. I'm really excited to uh, shoot his stuff. And um, you can check that out all in the description below and uh, book a free consultation with me where we chat about your stuff. We, I, I could go over your profile, I'll go over your, um, your dating, uh, what's going on with you in your dating life, how you think about dating, what's good, what's bad, what your goals are, where you're at, and see how I can help you get to where you wanna be. So, wish you guys the best. Cheers.